What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some hockey collectibles that I recently received and I wanted to share them with you guys because it's really cool stuff and I'm really excited to share this. So I'm going to start off with the Funko Pops. Up first, Corey Crawford. Now you guys might have seen this in hockey card videos as my background because I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this and I had to wait for a couple other things to arrive. But yeah, I collect hockey Funko Pops. I absolutely love them. I think they look amazing. And this one here I found in Dollarama for $4. So I thought for $4, that's extremely cheap. Let's get one. So that's really cool. And I wanted to collect a few more Funko Pops for hockey. Not only to have in my background, but just for my personal collection. And you guys know I absolutely collecting goalie items. So that is our first item here. I'll push it all the way back. Next is a Funko Pop for somebody that I collect. That is Patrick Waugh. I got this from a hockey card shop out of the box in Ottawa. And I paid $15 for it, which is what to expect to get for our Funko Pops. Now, this is a Canadian exclusive. And it's really, really cool. And I see people are selling these and reselling these for $20 to $25 dollars. So to get one in a hockey card shop for $15, it's an honest, honest hockey card shop. I absolutely love them. That's really cool. I collect Patrick Waugh, and this is a Funko Pop I did not have and I wanted to get. Right now, I'm on the lookout for Wayne Gretzky. I found one for $15 the other day. It was an LA Kings um, jersey, but I don't know if I want LA Kings or which one I want. I was looking at a four-pack with all four of Wayne Gretzky's in each of his jerseys, but that one there runs for a little bit of money. Next is an Ottawa Senators pin set. Now, I was actually given this as a gift from my girlfriend's grandfather, who is a collector, and this is something that I'm going to be keeping forever in my collection. I absolutely love the Ottawa Senators. You guys know this. I think this is really cool. This was from the Ottawa Citizen, so a newspaper, and they did these pins, so... I'm going to open this up here for you guys so you guys can see the pins. To me, they look amazing. You have Chara, Alfredson, a whole bunch, everybody from the team that year. This is uh, 0506, so the complete team, including Sparty Cat in the bottom right corner. This is really, really cool. I collect in PC anything Ottawa Senators, and this is something that I didn't even know existed at the time when he showed me it. And then as he was showing me other stuff before we left his room where he has all his collectibles, he said that he's given me this. So I thought that was really cool. And it's definitely something that I'm going to be keeping in my collection. Something really, really cool. I absolutely love it. That is really cool. And it's something that I didn't even know existed. Now he still has his... Um, the Legends or NHL Hall of Famers one. I can't remember which one it is, but that was really cool and really nice for him to do that. And the last thing I just received in the mail today in this big box, but it's not that big in my opinion. I'm going to open it up here and show you what it is. This is what I was waiting for. So if you guys seen these in hockey card videos recently in the backgrounds, that's because I received these first and started putting them in the background of my hockey card videos. And I've been waiting for this for a little while and I'm glad it came in. And that is, I'm actually going to take it out of the bag first. I didn't even take it out of the bag yet whenever I've seen it. That is a Jean-Gabriel Pajot signed Ottawa Senators hockey puck. That is amazing. And not only that, it also has a Beckett's Certificate of Authenticity, which is really cool. With its own serial number. So that is really cool. I got this on an auction. I won it. I paid a little bit more than I should have. And I didn't know all the fees that this auction place had. Which is Pristine Auctions. I actually won this for $23. That was the binning wit winning bid for me. And I didn't realize that you have to pay them 17%. It is US currency and I live in Canada. So there's the exchange rates. Plus shipping and everything that was in U.S. prices had to be converted to Canadian currency. So in total, this cost me $50. That is crazy. Now it looks small because my hands, but that's an actual size of a hockey puck. So that's really cool. 
I really, really love the signed hockey puck. I think that I might have paid a little bit more than what it might be worth, but Pajot is a player that I wish the Ottawa Senators would have gave him the deal and signed him for a five-year deal, just what he wanted. As soon as he went to the Islanders, they signed him to that deal right away. It's something that Ottawa could have afforded, and they just didn't. They decided not to, which that to me is embarrassing for the team. So it comes with an... Uh, certificates of authenticity from Beckett so I know this is actually his signature and he has a pretty distinctive signature so it looks amazing now I do have two other signed pucks that are already in my collection Chris Phillips which he signed in person but it's with a black sharpie so you can't really see it I wish I had a uh, silver um, sharpie marker that day or a gold one would have been nice and I also have a Clark MacArthur signed puck with a letter of authenticity as well that one I might be selling the Clark MacArthur one so these are the recent additions to my hockey collection. Absolutely love getting Funko Pops. I keep looking for them and trying to see them when they're cheap, trying to purchase them. I absolutely love the pin set, the gift that I was received from my girlfriend's grandfather. I think that was amazing. He didn't have to do that. That was really nice of him. And this puck, again, I'm not sure what autograph pucks are worth, especially for Pajot. But he's a player I collect. He's a player I love. I love him in the Islanders. He did great in the playoffs. And I think that Ottawa should have kept him. So I wanted to get this puck here. Now I also bid on three Anthony DeClaire autograph pucks. But I lost that bid because it went way too high. And it included the first three teams that Anthony DeClaire was on. So it didn't have his Ottawa Senators one. But it had every other team. It had Columbus, Rangers, and Coyotes. So I would have got three pucks for that. But given how much I had to pay for this one, and once I found out the fees, I decided to let that go and everything else that I was bidding on, just let them all go because too much for the fees. I wish I knew about the fees before bidding on this item, but it is still really cool. So I'm going to be displaying this one in my shelf. And the Funko Pops and the pins, they're going to be displayed as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me sharing my newest additions to my hockey collections. Autograph pucks are always nice to get. I love getting anything unique. So the pins are definitely unique because I didn't know about them. And the Funko Pops, I'm definitely on the lookout for more. Like I said, Wayne Gretzky, I'm hoping to get at least one Wayne Gretzky Funko Pop very soon. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoy. Please take care. Peace.